Yes, hello guys, it's Maisie and welcome back to videos or my race videos with my commentary. This is uh, round 4 of the AOR GT3 Elite League and it's also the new season as you can see. I'm drawing a different car, the Ginetta. And uh, sorry for not uh, doing commentary on my last yeah, videos as I didn't have time. And now we are racing at Laguna Seca, this is round 4. Uh, so yeah, it is Laguna Seca. And now you're just watching my uh, fastest qualifying lap. I did just uh, a bit later, uh, a bit earlier, lap 121 point, almost 5. So yeah, that's pretty good. I'm in P11 right now out of uh, 23 cars. But Yorkie and Fizzy, you know, they are commentating. So uh, they are basically just 21 cars that's on the grid. Left. And we are now in uh, like a midfield. Brownski is just in P10, so maybe we have some time left to improve and maybe overtake him. But this car, uh, yeah, it's not the fastest. It's not good in, you know, start. Starts the you, you just get bogged down on the start. So really, I'm just curious what will happen uh, because this uh, start finish rate is uphill. So I don't believe I will be in like P11. Uh, after the turn one, but let's see, let's wait and see what will happen. And also, I'm going to start on medium tires and will try to no stop on this on this race. So hopefully, I will get some positions from that, and I really don't want to lose any time in the pits. And you can see, I'm, I've improved by uh, one and a half tenths. So yeah, that's uh, 21.3, and I'm in P10 behind um, Tipple and in front of Brownski and there is no uh, qualifying lap, uh, qualifying board so yeah it's just straight into the race so yeah the green lights are going on in a bit and you can see shifting into the first and using the auto clutch and let's see what will happen on this round <laughs> it looks like an, uh, that I have a very very bad start very bad reaction time and also you could see that my car just bogged down on the RPMs and I'm just, you know, I'm just mucked left, right, center <laughs> into the turn one. But yeah, we are still in P17, P16, and I'm just running a little bit wide Outside. on the on the on the sand, so I'm losing every places which I could. So yeah, uh, back in oh, P21. <laughs> That's not a good start. But yeah, I, as I said, in my qualifying lap, I'm on the medium side tires and I'm expecting that all cars are on softs and some of them, I hopefully majority of them will do at least one stop. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I'm just going to take it easy, uh, following a wise guy and I think it's blue red, I don't know why uh, there is no uh, driver tags above each car. So it's quite difficult to see which which car is which, but yeah, the blue rod is in front, and I think it's wise guy or AJ. Uh, you have no idea. Oh Jesus! Uh, you can see, you can hear that there was some contact. So I'm just taking this uh, quite cautiously. Yeah, in last place. So yeah, I'm just going to settle in the race, trying to overtake those M3s in front of me. And you can see that this uh, wise guy who went a little bit um, a little bit uh, deep into the corner. Touching the uh, touching the sand, but he rejoined just in front of me, so there's no place gained from myself. So yeah, first lap of 23 lap race, and now I'm just looking if I can overtake him oh, on the outside, but uh, wise guy is covering his inside Still very well. There. And yeah, this is not going to work, <laughs> basically trying to overtake uh, some cars on the outside of this long first turn which is quite difficult to take <laughs> even if you're alone you can see wise guy a little bit off guard there but yeah no getting the time yeah the Ginetta is what as I was saying it's not perfect in a straight line it's not perfect at start I think it's the worst car um, on the grid which has very 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 bad starts because in every race I dropped down like minimal two or three places it depends on the track, and it, you can see that some BMW went off the car, or, or off the track there. It's Centro, who I believe has some force feedback issues, or maybe he doesn't have any issues with force feedback because I do. I know that he doesn't have any force feedback on his wheel because he said it on Teamspeak that he lost all his feedback. So yeah, I know what it's like to driving without the 
force feedback inputs. So yeah, it's it's completely different. So yeah, I think he had some problems. Uh, maybe he went. Uh, he, he made some contact with. Uh, I th I believe it was Tipper. So yeah, still in 21 place. The gap in front is now four tenths. You've just done yeah, but I hope that uh, I will I will be able to keep um, the pace up with the guys on the soft tires as well, and then uh, use my time when well, everybody will pit. Uh, you can see that I just touched the grass. Uh, oh, sorry, grass the sand then on the exit. But yeah, I was sitting behind Tipo. Oh, sorry, behind Centro for those three laps. So we are now in lap five. And you can see that Tipple is trying seconds. to overtake, uh, I don't know who that is, but it, I think it's Wise Guy. <laughs> wise Guy is uh, jumping all over the curb there, on the sausage curb on the inside of the uh, fast left-hander. Now we are going to Corkscrew. Yeah, nobody, uh, nobody trying to overtake here because it's quite dangerous. And it's co so quite difficult to take it just all your all by alone. And it look, looks like Blue Red who went, uh, you know, so who made a, some right. sort of penalty, right. and and also Centro hitting him when he was rejoining the track. So yeah, there's two positions for myself. Hey, yeah, thank you. So I'm in P17. That's great, guys. Yeah, not used to driving in the back of the field. Just a lap later, I was still following Wise Guy in his M3. And I am followed by Blue Rat in his M3. And Blue Rat is followed by, I believe it's Centro, who both of them made contact. And you can see when I was uh, I was released from from the, like the uh, dirty airs with cars, I was already on my pace, which is quite good, uh, 23.5, which is also my pace on soft. So yeah, I thought that you know this race isn't lost by no way. So. Yeah, I'm just going to try and overtake Wise Guy, and he, it looks like he went a little bit uh, wrong in that corner. So I gain some some time on him, and I'm going to come in on my inside of him. Yeah, but he's still hol holding right. his outside. Yeah, I'm going to get a little bit right. overseer there for my Janetta. So yeah, yeah, I'm slotting just behind Wise Guy, not to make anything stupid. Somebody in front of Wise Guy kicking the dust on the outside there, and. Fast left hander. The yeah, now the corkscrew once again. Post. Very, very, very difficult. And also, you can gain a lot of plan out if you cut the corner, which is not good. So, yeah, uh, hopefully, next uh, next lap, I'm going to have some chance. Oh, oh, that's this is not going to be very good for my race as Massive I touched well, uh, the mm -hmm. outside of the sand of the outside of the curb there. And yeah, it just I went, went, went around that stupid Janetta. So yeah, again in P19, I think I'm but very familiar with that place three, anyway. So really who cares so anyway? So yeah, Centro in front of me Double with Blue Red and, and Wise Guys. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just the last last person racing on this track. Which is not good, and I was I'm really not expecting now. that. But yeah, the start I made was horrible, 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 and I have to pay for that. But yeah, as I said, medium tires, it's not lost. So yeah, yeah. oh, maybe now it's lost. Yeah, this is how it looks like when you lost the back of the car, and also I pick up some damage. I think I had like 10 aero damage after that spin and hitting the wall. So yeah, not good. Really, really, really not good. So, yeah, now I'm thinking just, you know, yeah, shit, screw it, just going to drive by myself. And you can see that I was driving by myself just for another 10 laps. As I was uh, caught up by Kaki, I think it's Kaki, the race leader in his Bentley, so I'm just let him go on the inside of this left hander. So, yeah, that's one lap down already. <laughs> already in lap 18 but it's lap 18 so hopefully some guys will pit and I will gain some positions but I have wise guy 8 seconds ahead so that should be good so uh, like 3 laps later some guys went into the pits as you can see and I am just in a P13 which is not bad so if I can uh, hold my tires up to temperature and also up to grip I should be able to keep them behind but you know, really, I don't, ha I can't make any more mistakes as I did last last time. Yeah, a lap later, 
you can see another position gained and another position gained. So it's P11. This is great. This is great, Maisie. Come on. Look out for your right rear tie, mate. It's looking pretty worn. Yeah, as you can, you could hear that my uh, race engineer told me that my rear tires are in a very, 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 very bad, uh, very bad place. So there is there is no much grip. It's still in P11, and you can see that it's uh, the wizard of Nostra. So Nostra made a mistake in the corkscrew, so that's another position gain. So it's P10. Yeah, basically, I haven't lost any position from the start. Oh, yay. So yeah, trying to... But obviously, guys, uh, all guys behind me are on fr uh, fresh soft tires, so <laughs> I'm expecting them to be right on my ass just in no time basically because really I'm just the, the lap times are pretty stable 23.6 so that's good so yeah lap 25 still in the P10 and again driving into the corkscrew once again and you can see that I cut the chicane quite badly so I received a time penalty and all my efforts is done and dusted once again and there are some cars which I'm racing with and also some guys uh, for example the Aston Martin who just uh, went by and also Andrex oh no Andrex is on my lap but there was I think Tony or F1 Massa who was lap uh, or I was, I had to let him by because he was uh, one lap up, so he was lapping me. And yeah, I have uh, the Stavridge, uh right on my ass, and I'm sure he's going to dive bomb me somewhere because I really, uh, really don't like this one. And you can see that he sticks his nose on my inside there, so I left him a little bit room, and then I was just pushed, pushed quite uh, nearly off the track. But yeah, there was some contact between me and him, which I didn't like. But yeah, I didn't put this one on the stewards as I was really struggling with my tires. And now I have Wycombs <laughs> looking on my inside as well. Yeah, so Wycombs, he was running uh, fairly up on this race, but maybe he made some, some mistakes uh, along the race. So yeah, he's in P15 just behind me, so I'm just holding him up. As much as I can, I'm just, you know, this is going to be defend the, defend the race until the end. So I'm trying to, I'm almost getting into spin once again in, cork, in corkscrew. But uh, I handled that quite good. And behind Wycombs, I think there is white BMW. Not sure if it's Brownski, who's going to lap on both of us, or if it's a Central or Tipple. Not sure which one is that. Uh, we will see once the oh, white BMW will overtake uh, white comes or when white comes will overtake my side. And uh, some laps later in lap 28, there is another white Bentley lapping myself. So yeah, I'm just letting him, letting him by. Maybe it's Mini Black, Dinda S, or Kaki once again because yeah, they had to pit and I didn't pit. So yeah, the tires are. Yeah, the lap times the are more or less good, so but yeah, noises. I'm feeling that the grip is uh, uh, more or less, you know, going down and down every sure? lap. And you can see that uh, Tipple uh, is uh, over to uh, Tipple overtake the overtook the, okay. <laughs> the white comps, and now he's looking on my inside into corkscrew. But yeah, he said not Maisie, I'm not going to like dive bomb you there right into corkscrew, which yeah, uh, which is quite dangerous, I believe. So yeah. He's just waiting for his opportunity, and I believe his opportunity will come as he's on, you know, yeah, not I'm sure if he's on softs or so mediums, <laughs> but he had some contacts in the first lap, on the second lap, so he went into the pits to repairs, to repair his car. So I think he's going for basically no stopper, so he has the same tires from the beginning of the race, but he is really on the pace, the Z4 is very good on the, on the brakes, uh, sorry, on the brakes, on the tires, and also with Brownski's knowledge, the, the now, all uh, yeah, Z4's drivers are very great on the tires, and you could see oh, that uh, Tipple is on my outside end from uh, lap one. Oh, sorry, from Clear turn one, still left. there. The uh, crew chief engineer still doesn't there. want to Good stop, uh, saying left. still there, still there. Yes. Keep keep your line. So yeah, I'm just uh, trying to uh, let him room, and Wycombs is looking feisty oh, as well. So it's free abreast almost into outside. this left hander, and you can see that Artipel is there on my inside. So I'm just telling him, yeah, the inside is yours now. 
but I'm not going to let you by just without a fight. So yeah, we are still side by side up the hill, which is crazy. And yeah, uh, um, <laughs> Ycoms almost hit me in the back. So yeah, I have to ease off my brakes and still we are almost side by side into corkscrew. But now, yeah, Tipple is well in front, which was, was great battle between me and him. So yeah, well done Tipple and also well done Ycoms not to hitting myself and this was great scrap with uh, three of us. And yeah, we have uh, some oh, yellow, blue Aston Martin, not sure which one is that, if it's Jellyfish, F1 Massa or uh, uh, yeah, the other one, Tony R, sorry Tony, yeah Tony R, so I'm just letting him by because I'm, I'm just lapped. And Wycombs is trying to um, take this advantage to himself, but yeah, he overbreak himself there in the turn one, but as I said, he's on softs and fresh softs, I'm on used mediums, but yeah, what you gonna do, Maisie? This is your strategy which you picked before the race. Yeah, but those uh, two mistakes at the lap 8 or 7 or what was that, that was pretty much damaging my race. So yeah, uh, in lap 35. Uh, there is uh, Nesterovic who made some mistakes along the way and still Wycombs just be, uh, uh, behind me trying to pass me for a long lapse oh <laughs> sorry there there was some black screen yeah and Bad just it was screen. the black screen it was actually my uh, mistake in editing the video but yeah I spun which wasn't as great and Wycombs was just asking if he if he touched me that's because I spun, oh, I said no, 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 it was my mistake mate, so continue. Oh, yeah. So yeah, uh, down in P17 once again, and it's 38th lap, again corkscrew, my favorite corner, and I'm going to do the same once again, crashing and spinning, why not, because, yeah, because I have all time in the world to do that, so... Yeah, I'm just trying to drift this beast, yeah, Brownski is now lapping me. So I'm just yeah. driving safely on the on the sand, not making anyone's race as misery as myself is. And yeah, I have another Bentley coming oh, right on my ass. Like not that. sure which one is that, Kaki, <laughs> Dinda S or Mini Black. I think it's Mini Black because he was uh, racing Brownski. Or not sure, not sure. Yeah. So uh, this is end of my misery race this time. I'm not in P18, I'm in actually in P17, but I was lapped, so I'm just completed 40 uh, 42 laps in this race. So yeah, that's the end of my misery, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next track, which is Bar Thirst, <laughs> and I'm not I'm expecting to be great the there. So yeah, thanks for watching once again. Hopefully you like it, my mistake. So yeah, bye-bye, take care, and see you next time.